Hey, welcome back to Legends of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this video, we're going to start uh, collecting the pieces of the key that will let us into the second dungeon in the game, the Earth Temple. Um, it's pretty much a fire temple, ladies. You don't want to call it a fire temple because that's too cliche since every single second dungeon in every Zelda game ever created is a fire temple. That's not quite true, but it's mostly true. Anyways, uh, the first key part is right there in front of you. You just gotta dig in that hole, and you'll get yourself a key. Part one, one out of five, twenty percent done. Uh, unfortunately, they're all not as easy as that one, but they're really not that bad, unless you're me, who spent sixteen hours looking for them to produce this eight-minute video where it looks like I know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. It didn't take me that long. I found I found all but one of them, and then the last one took me a little bit of a while to locate. Uh, let's see what's up here. There's gotta be something cool. And goddess cube. So let's go ahead and collect this goddess cube. Who knows what treasure lays in it? And you guys will never find out. Cause I'm never gonna show you. In every video that I have from now on out, I will never show you what is in that goddess cube. You have to play it on your own and find out. That's the kind of person that I am. I'm gonna leave you hanging like that with a gigantic cliffhanger. That goddess cube impacts the entire game and has a big plot point. Possibly. You have to figure that one out on your own. But it might. Anyways. What we need to do here is that guard tower down there and it's beeping with the dowsing ability. So let's uh, just drop down and see what there is. Uh, doesn't look as much. That thing right there, we're going to be using that later on in the game, but that's much later as well. Looks like maybe the piece is in the tower or underneath it, so we're going to have to find a way to move that uh, guard tower. So let's just climb back up. And looks like we can use one of these bombs here and do some bowling with your bullet all the way down this hill. It's going to take me a few times to do so just because my timing is a tad bit off. And I missed a couple times because you got to really aim this thing. So, strike. Oh. I guess it's a baseball strike. Strike two. Big. Strike three, strike four. I'm missing a lot. Not a very good bowler. Alright, there we go, that one knocked it down. You really just want to hold on to for a few seconds to then bowl and hopefully it'll end up blowing up on the way past it. But you can go ahead and climb all the way back down there. And you can dig it up right there underneath where the base used to be. And that's the second piece, 40% done. Um, we're making great progress, aren't we? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and return back up. It doesn't seem that there's any pieces located within this area, so we're going to keep on exploring this bit a little bit. That sounds weird, this bit a little bit. So, um, I'm actually gonna take a break here. I noticed that I took a break. I just had to save and return again, but I'm pretty much right here in the same area, just a few steps back. So, there's a key right down here, so these bombs on the edge, you need to do some bowling, and this one does take some timing. You just gotta hold it, and then throw it down, and have it blow up as it's rolling past. And, uh, I'll open up this cave with a, uh, another spot where you can dig up a key. This one might be a little bit tricky to find if you don't know where to look because the uh, dowsing ability will go off and beep like crazy inside of the town even though the town up here I haven't shown it to you yet I haven't shown it to you when we get up there that little beep inside this little camp setup like the piece is hiding on the tent even though it's not so looks like I need to buy myself a bigger rupee wallet because I am fully maxed out now I guess 300 is the limit. Alright, this is the town I was talking about. And if you don't know where to look, it'll beep in one of these uh, houses. So I'm gonna scroll down this way and get another goddess cube. That's the second one in this video. Go fly off and see what we get. 
Okay, so... Now we need to get back to collecting these pieces. We've got three. Two more to go, and the last two are kind of near each other. They're right up here. Um, just run past these enemies. You really don't need to fight them. Unless you absolutely want to. <coughs> but... This area, you need to run through that area. If you don't run through it, then you will burn, and uh, you can't go through to the left, so don't even bother trying. That's something you will be doing later on in the game. Um, if you catch on fire, you can't get out, just roll, or do a spin attack that will cause the flames to go out. What you need to hear, do here is slide down. You need to aim for this uh, platform that's over there, and then time your jump when both of these air geysers are going up. That way you use your sail and float all the way up to this high platform where you can dig up the fourth piece of the key. Alright. So we need one more piece and it's gotta be somewhere close. So I'll just go ahead and continue sliding down. And just pull this at the new area. Here. Um, just the new piece is right there. As you can see, there is another spot that you can blow up. What you need to do is grab this nearby bomb. And you can blow it straight up. Now what I ended up doing was I ended up jumping into a lava on accident, but it did blow up the thing. So from there... Or it did not blow up the thing, so... Wait. What you need to do is just to pick it up and drop it down right there in the lava, and it will blow... The... Blow up the plug and the lava will begin flowing clear away this area where we can pick up another bomb. We get to time this pretty well. Throw it up the hill. We'll roll down to the safe area and you need to run over there. Pick it back up again and then throw it or just walk it. I'm just going to walk it just to ensure that my aim's not off. Take some damage because I have some extra health to waste. And uh, there's that last key down in that hole that you can dig up with your mist that we just got recently. Alright. Uh, that'd be the uh, entire key, five pieces. So we can return to the uh, dungeon entrance in the next video. And we'll actually be me entering the second dungeon of the game, the Earth Temple. So look forward to seeing me mess up in the Earth Temple. Hopefully I won't mess up too bad, but I'm just bound to happen. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, leave some comments. Uh, let me know if you thought this video was helpful for finding the five pieces of the key, because I know that can be a quite a frustrating area if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs>